Soon may the weller man come Bring us coffee, tea and rum One day the tongue is done Take our leave and go At a fair I've been studying various forecasts really closely for the last couple of days in preparation for this overnighter and uh, everything I was seeing even up to just an hour ago <laughs> was saying northwest wind nine miles an hour well that sounds great that sounds uh, about perfect for the type of sailing that I like <laughs> but I'm here and this is what I'm looking at Couldn't tell you what the wind speed is, but it's blowing pretty good and it's uh, definitely heavier than nine miles an hour. And uh, got some pretty good sized waves rolling in here, breaking on the river bank. And uh, you know, it's tempting just to go for it anyways, but this is really not my kind of sailing. And I have to be extra cautious with my home built boats. They don't need to be out in this. It's just not worth the risk. So I'm gonna have to alter my plans and go somewhere more protected. Sailing a small engineless boat, you are really dependent on weather conditions. And actually that's kind of the main thing about sailing a small engineless boat. It's all about the wind and weather. I had originally planned to set out from the canal on the Lake Barkley Reservoir of the Cumberland and sailed downwind several miles, camping wherever I decided. I really didn't know. But clearly, the heavy conditions called for a change of plans. So instead, I trailered my skiff down the road a few miles to one of the biggest bays on the north of Barkley Lake. Unlike the big river, there wasn't much swell back in the bay, which is what I was looking for, but the wind was blowing from the mouth to the back of the bay, and that meant it would be one of those slowly tacking my way upwind kind of days. And it had been a long time since I've done that sort of sailing, so it actually sounded like fun.
about half an hour into my sail, I hadn't really made much progress towards the mouth of the bay. I was still kind of right around the boat ramp where I'd launched. And not only that, but the skiff was taking on a little bit of water, which it will do when sailing upwind, especially in a blow. And I think most of it comes over the rail or between the joint of the two planks that form the top sides. The centerboard trunk cap may also leak, but the boat is very dry sailing downwind. Close hauled, not so much. It's slow going, but I know of a little cove out to the north side of the mouth of this bay and I'm hoping to find a suitable place to camp ashore there.
tired of battling the swell, tacking back and forth, just getting more water in the boat and having to bail it out, I'm finally inside of the cove where I'm hoping to camp and I decide just to row the last short little distance to get up into the cove. Dusk is on the way and so I need to kind of hurry up and figure out where I'm going to camp and this cove is unfamiliar to me so I don't really know for sure that there will be anywhere suitable to set up the tent. I have worked hard to get up wind to this little cove and this is just about as far as I can go on the bay before reaching open water and it's a little too rough for me today out there on the big river so I'm keeping my adventure confined to the bay and I was hoping to maybe camp here in this little cove behind the point with some protection from that northwest wind and it's a nice cove uh, it's very picturesque but there's no level ground at all that I can find or anything even coming close and it's just really brushy everywhere in the woods so don't think I'm gonna stay here My original plan to sail downwind from the canal on Lake Barkley had fallen through due to heavier conditions than I was comfortable taking my home-built skiff out in, and then my alternate plan to camp in this cove near the mouth of the protected bay had also fallen through. There was nowhere suitable to set up a tent, nowhere level and free of brush. I was getting a little frustrated as evening was approaching quickly and I needed to find somewhere to camp. My last chance was a backcountry campsite near a jeep trail about halfway down the bay and I didn't know whether or not it would be occupied but that was really my only option and it kind of feels like throwing away all that upwind progress when you just get in the boat, set the sails, and drive downwind almost like driving a car but that's what I had to do
Join me in the next video for the second half to find out what happens. Pennants are now available at cumberlandrover.com. Historically flown for signal purposes, a pennant is that indescribable something that your boat is missing. They can help you read the wind, increase visibility of your small craft, and they just look cool, fluttering from the masthead or yard of a lug sail. You can have any color you want, as long as it's bright red. I have two styles of pennant now available at cumberlandrover.com.